Hello everyone, welcome back to another custom die cast review. Today we got two more custom die casts, just like the whole Hamlin and Bowman two car set. We got the Pocono set for Bowman and Larson. Now you might see a lot of Bowman this week, I'm not going to lie, because, well, here's the thing. I just did the Bowman Martinsville win, I couldn't think of it. I'm about to do the Pocono win. I'm not doing the Dover one because I've already reviewed it, but even though it was in the Authentics line, it's still the same die cast. I still did the same deal I just have in the Gold Series now, so that one will not be reviewed. I still have the Richmond win to review. Not only that, I still have the Ally Best Friends Metal Chassis and Standard 164 die cast, which will be the same video, kind of like you're seeing now. Same thing goes with the Primary die cast you will get the review of the metal chassis and the normal chassis and then same thing with the throwback metal chassis versus normal chassis and not to mention with the whole like playoff die cast review it did with like a whole bunch of different playoff die cast bowman was was in there as well so there's a lot of bowman die cast going around right now uh, on this channel i mean me being a bowman fan you know that's how it goes but uh yeah, so I do want to apologize for the Bowman overload. I know not a lot of people like him. Some do, some don't. And I know having a lot of the same driver can kind of get boring sometimes. Bowman, my Bowman diecast don't really get a lot of views anyway, which, I mean, honestly, none of my videos do. But, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm not hurt at all. No, I'm kidding. But, yeah. Anyway, here is the Pocono set. Again, Larson, if you didn't know, was leading the race. Coming out of that final corner, that third corner. Boom, right into the wall, flat tire, day is done. Bowman sweeps underneath him, gets the checkered flag on the last lap, out of the last corner. Now, obviously Bowman did not deserve the win, but he still deserved a very good position because he had to put himself in that place in order to get a good finish. So that was, even coming from a Bowman fan, that was a very lucky win, especially for Larson because, you know, we know how Larson is. Larson would have won that race pretty much anyway. I think he almost won the second one too. But I believe Kyle Busch won that one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was kind of the damage. And over here on this side, you will actually be able to see that here in just a little bit. Yeah, there's the damage. So we're going to take a look at the Larson at Diecast first. And then we're going to put the Bowman aside and take a look at that one here next. So again, here is the first Diecast. We're going to zoom in and lower this bad boy real quick. Uh, I know the lighting's pretty garbage right now, but just give me a second. I promise I can fix it. A uh, little, uh, there, there we go, that's good enough. So there we go. So here is the Larson die cast, of course, just as normal. Uh, Hendrick cars, it did kind of hurt to use a Hendrick cars paint scheme, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, so right here, we're going to just kind of kick this off as normal. Got the HendrickCars.com right there, all kinds of just dirt and grime there. Got the Larson, uh, of course you got the interior detail on the dashboard. Got the number 5, HendrickCars.com. Uh, Larson, of course, those are added name banners because this is not a gold series. This is the Authentics line. Calm down. I promise you it's not in a uh, gold series. I would take this off, but I would have to replace it. Just believe me, these are printed. I know it looks like it because, uh, yeah, not very good quality, but it is a Authentics line. So uh, calm your Jimbo. So I don't know what that means, but calm them. <laughs> I got Nations Guard right there. A black spoiler back here. HendrickCars.com. Camaro Z011 LE, all that good stuff. HendrickCars.com on the side, and this is the good side. Uh, I also added a, a decal here. Hiring technicians, that is actually a decal, not a uh, piece of paper. So I printed out that decal. I got a little bit of just race wear a hole around the fender here. and Well, the fender, then the quarter panel back here. Then you just got that huge just wall scrape. Uh, just right where you just slammed into that wall really hard, too. So a pretty nasty crash. Of course, we got all the detail right there. Got the... What do I mix? I mixed in like legitimate scratches. I think a little bit of black and a little bit of gray to kind of give that that wall effect. You got the uh, not skid plate, but you got the uh, exhaust plate down here. Tarleton, I believe that's how you say it. Got some more scratches there. NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car. Got a raced worn or race used tire. Uh, no lettering on it whatsoever. You can see some of that more scratch marks where he just kind of bent that fender. I got the front end right here, as we already stated. Got the number five and all that good stuff. So on this side, got another used tire. I believe this was the one that went down. 
or it could have been the other one, not really sure. Uh, of course, you got all the detail there, a little bit of race build up, got the window net down, you can see on the interior, you got the steering wheel, dashboard, gear shifter, and the roll cage painted, it's kind of, there it is, you can see the roll cage. It is silver though, it's not, or it's gray though, not silver, I kind of explained why, and I'll explain again. The silver was just too watery, too liquidy, didn't like it, so I kind of went with gray until I got another silver. Now I got the new silver in, and we're using that. So I got the B post there as well. Uh, HendrickCars.com, they just cut off, of course, for the, what you call? oh, my cat just hit my thing. Uh, it's cut off for the window net. Higher Tier Nation's got a little bit of the fuel spillage there. Now going underneath the die cast. Okay, sorry, my cat distracted me. I uh, got the exhaust pipes, all that stuff. I uh, got the little red thing there, don't know what that is. Got the axles and all that good stuff there. Got the fuel tank back here, transmission, and the drive shaft back there as well. So that is the Larson die cast. Moving on to the Bowman, which is a gold series. Now, this was kind of hard to get at first, but they're still in stock over at kstatediecast.com. That's where I get all my die cast. I'm not sponsored by them, but uh, maybe one day, maybe one day. I don't know if you heard that knock, but that was really creepy until I re uh, realized it was my cat. Uh, she's in the loft right now. Just, just pay no attention. Anyway, here's the Bowman die cast. I just almost yoinked it from you. Uh, oh, also, this Kyle Larson die cast will have no packaging because I cannot find the hood for it. And I know it sucks, but you know. It is what it is. You got the NASCAR Cup Series on the box, uh, which is again custom. The winner sticker also custom. So is the race version and the Pocono Raceway, again also custom. So we're going to very carefully take this out of the box because all my Bowman diecasts just they're they're so hard to open and I don't know why. So I'm gonna be very uh, gentle with these diecasts. There we go. I got a I got a knife here. Be careful, kids. Don't do that. That's a very bad decision. So getting it out of the box again, the Larson unfortunately does not have one. It does, but it didn't have the hood. I lost it, so I just kind of threw it away. No big deal. It's going to be displayed on the Bowman diecast anyway. Whenever that comes in. So here's the diecast. Uh, normally, uh, you know, you got your normal paint scheme. I don't know why I said normally. We do have a little bit of a tire mark right there for the wheel tape. Uh, that is something I've been recently doing to both 124 and 164 diecast. So right here on the hood, of course, we got the ally like 30,000 times. I uh, got some race wear. Not a whole lot. This is a pretty clean race win. No confetti or anything, unfortunately. I got the detail dashboard there. Bowman, also with the colored uh, little, whatchamacallit here, the uh, colored Chevy bow ties. Just wanted to point that out. Because they're normally white, so I colored them yellow. Just make it a little better. 48, ally do it right. You got Bowman right there on the back. Ally, of course, once again, ally on the back. Imagine that. Got a 48. Uh, Camaro Z01 Winnelly over here on this side. Got a little bit of race wear. Uh, oh, well, I guess the door that wasn't really that dirty. That was just kind of me over exaggerating. I'm not gonna lie. Hardly any used up race wheels, so uh, pretty new tires. And then that's yeah, pretty much it for the 360. So going on to the underneath. Oh, I didn't show this side, did I? Uh, yeah, same thing as always as the Larson went on it down into here, painted all that jazz. So that is there also. And same for the underneath. Again, use the gray instead of the silver. For the same reason I told you about uh, the Larson diecast. Silver was just a little too liquidy, so we had to get a different one. Uh, so everything's painted the same. Oh uh, yeah, pretty cool little uh, diecast group here, I guess. Now, I would like to make like a little diorama of all of those, but I would have to buy more Bowman diecasts because this is... Well, no, it's, it's not, it doesn't have the confetti, so I guess I can kind of do a... Oh, no, the window net's down. Eh, it's hard to explain. I think the really only, like, diorama I'm going to make would be the Hamlin and Bowman Martinsville whole incident, so I might do that later. Uh, but either way, that'll be all for this uh, little custom die cast dual review, if you want to call it that. Or a set. There we go. Two-car set. Anyway, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.